Hi, I'm Celeste and I'm a pinup photographer. A lot of times I'm inspired by the old pinup artists, the illustrators of the 40s and the 50s. And Gil Elvgren, he is my biggest inspiration. I absolutely adore his work. It has that fun kind of in the moment sort of oops kind of pinup scenario. It's the girl next door and that's what I adore. For my pinup photography I have my hairstylist and my makeup artist. Uh, Kirsten is my makeup artist and she's with me all the time. She does amazing work and she knows the style perfectly. My hairstylist, Raina and Teresa and they do a great job too. They're very familiar with the style because it's so important that my hairstylists know what to do because it's very different than the modern day style. And it's great, they come in, the clients get to talk with them, they feel relaxed. It's, it's just like a big family here. So it's, it's a great time, we all get along really well and we're all really good friends. So that definitely helps with the atmosphere. I help the clients pose, I'll get in there with them. If they're holding up an orange, I'll hold that orange up with them. I'll practice faces with them. You know, everything so they know. I understand it's really hard. People are not used to posing as pinups every day. So usually by the time the hair and makeup's done, they're ready to go. Turn your head a little more to the right, bring your eyes up. That's perfect. Just hold that for me. also ask me, you know, I see on your website a lot of the girls are tiny, I'm a plus size woman, do you have a wardrobe for me? The answer, totally, yes. I make sure that my wardrobe has from size 0 up to size 3X and if I don't have something that you like or that will fit you perfectly, you and I will come up with the perfect outfit. I will totally take care of you. Faces. We have your typical smile, then we have the perfect quintessential, oops, I got my dress caught in something. Or you could do something like a little wing, and then we have that vintage vixen kind of sexy smile sort of thing. So there's a lot of great pinup faces you can do. My favorite is the, oops, I got my dress caught in the washer or the dryer or something like that. That's the best. That is total pinup, total girl next door, caught in the moment. I mean, it can't get any better than that. I would love to put together a pinup calendar and a pinup book. That would be top priority for me. Right now, I'm just so super busy with my clients. I haven't had time, but it's definitely something I would love to do in the future. Even something, you know, commercially, because pinups are definitely coming back. So that would be great. I would love to branch out and do things in addition to my clients with the pinups. Most clients find me through my website, which is lunarlightstudios.com. Thanks for checking out my pinup studio of MB in Philadelphia's My Backyard. <laughs>